Welcome back, everybody. We are starting season five of Game of Thrones. Season five. So we finished up season four. Saw the big battle at the wall, and then John went up north, tried to kill Mance Raider. And while he was doing that, Stannis come up and pretty much defeated the Wildlings. Yeah. And captured Mance Raider. And is he is stationed up at Castle Black with the Night's Watch. Tyrion, Jamie let Tyrion out of his cell before he before he uh escaped. Got killed or executed. Yeah, his dad. And then he went up there and found Shay. Found in, Shay the, in, in his daddy bed. Daddy bed and choked her to death, which she deserved for saying all them lies about him in the stand. And then shot his daddy while he was taking a big old poop. I think he was done pooping. I don't think he was struggling. <laughs> like, he said, let me get up. Let's go to my room and talk about it. He was either done or he wouldn't. He a little wouldn't, didn't want to come out. Uh, Denari Daenerys Daenerys she locked up her oh yeah her dragon two dragons out of the three one of them is still roaming around probably barbecuing everybody cattle sheep people kids (laughs) he doing it all he doing he doing too much (laughs) he doing whatever he want to do he doing dragon things Hmm. And Titan. Jorah is kicked out for spying on her. Sam's got a girlfriend, officially, him and Gilly. Uh, Rianne beat the crap out of the hound. Okay. Let's go. Season five. He can be all of it. We've got to do a recap. All right, let's get started. Come on now. Well, I was, was going to ask you some questions about what you thought was going to, what you thought your daggone buddy Tyrion was going to be up to, but I guess not. I guess she wants to get started. So here we go. Take him. Take him. You're safe with me. Sailing home. That's right, the hound is dying. Zermas Maho. Your brother is dead. You know what that means? It means I'll become king. Yes. I demand a trial by combat. Tyrion Lannister, you are hereby sentenced to death. You are your star. I'll Mm. take you to safety. More wine, Your Grace. The boar got me. A hundred generations have defended this castle. You will not. But they're going all the seasons, huh? Run down! This customary <laughs> to kneel when surrendering to a king. We do not kneel. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? I'm sorry. So I get to hang to heal her. I am your son. Hmm. What have you done? <laughs> you sitting there like that for? <laughs> what? You? What? What? Do? Help me out. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to find a lab. We 
shouldn't be out here alone. Why not? You don't need to be afraid of my father. You should be afraid of her. I'm being big about your son, I didn't fly. Get out. Get out! They said that you were terrifying. With cat's teeth and three eyes. <laughs> I know you're a witch. And you can see the future. Tell me mine. Everyone wants to know their future. Tell me my future or I'll have your two boring eyes gouged out of your head. Your blood. Give me a taste. <laughs> That hurt. Three questions you get. You unlike the answers. I've been promised to the prince. When will we marry? You'll never wed the prince. You'll wed the king. But I will be queen. Oh, yes. You'll be queen. <laughs> and comes another. Younger. More beautiful. Will the king and I have children? No. <laughs> the king will have 20 children. You will have three. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> to go. <laughs> we have to go. Sassy. No, it was her. Big flashback. The little girl's demeanor. I guess for uh, Tyrone. Ty whatever. Tyrone's funeral. Tyrone. Tyrone. Your Grace, we are honored by your presence. The mourners are waiting. They will keep waiting. I want a moment alone with him. <laughs> no, she didn't care about it. She's here, there. He never wanted you to be a king's guard, but here you are, protecting his dead body. They're going to try to take it away. All of it. They? All of them out there. Hmm. He murdered our father. He tore us apart. He's the enemy. Exactly what they want. And now our father is dead. Hmm. The little monster is out there somewhere drawing breath. Did you set him free? Hmm. Say no. <laughs> Tyrion may be a monster, but at least he killed our father on purpose. You killed him by mistake. A shit. He loved you more than anyone in this world. Hmm. That's true, he didn't love him more than either one of them. But all three of them. Big old poop better than he did Tyrion. Huh? What'd you say? He loved the big poop better than he did Tyrion. Apologies. I still don't see why I had to stay in this fucking crate once we set sail. If they catch you, they catch me. <laughs> Shit through one of those air holes? No. I only know what it's like to pick up your shit and throw it overboard. <laughs> <laughs> the home of my colleague, Illyrio Mapatis. We tried to do what was best for the realm by supporting a Targaryen restoration. See how it's getting. <laughs> Things have gotten worse, not better. Westeros needs to be saved from itself. Mm. Much better. You already drank yourself across the narrow sea. In a box. Why stop now? Because we are talking about the future of our country. The future is shit. <laughs> Just like the past. Very good mood. Mm. Not in a very good mood. Yeah. I 
Dan, hang on. I'm doing some more. You can rally. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pull it down now? I make a lot of wet with that. Sure. Shank. Shank's a poor Why? I'm feeling he's gonna get killed. Because they're looking at his neck. <laughs> I told you! I told you. Lower myself. You show your face. The harpy. Yes, Your Grace. Conquerors always meet with resistance. I didn't conquer them. Their own people did. What was the name <laughs> of the man you lost? White Rat, Your Grace. I want him buried with honor in the Temple of the Graces. The sons of the harpy will hear that message. Make them very angry. Angry snakes lash out. <laughs> Find the men who did this and bring them to me. Torkonodal. Sunday, he not. I wanted to speak with you. <laughs> no, I think that way now. <laughs> Why do you come? White rat, the unsullied who I have heard they found his body in a brothel. I kill that, that, I get that, that whore. Why would an unsullied go to that a brothel? she cahooted, right? Mm -hmm. I do not know. Get the hugging treatment. The hugging therapy, which is modern lines today. <laughs> you know, no, they do that, right? <laughs> yeah. You just wanted to feel a woman's touch, probably. Get your shield up. It's too heavy. If it wasn't heavy, it wouldn't stop a sword. Now, get it up. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you being mean to him? Because he killed your girl. Keep your shield up. Or I'll ring your head like a bell. These men need a firm arms. Always have. Where's Stannis? He shouldn't even... If Sir Alice was chosen as the new Lord Commander. He hates the wildlings. Don't let them send us away. I told you. Wherever you go, I go too. You can't leave. They'll execute you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never thought about that. <laughs> the king wants a word. Yes, he Yes, he You could just your opportunity to throw her over. Say the wind blew her. <laughs> the Lord's fire lit within me, Jon Snow. Oh my God. Phil. Are you a virgin? No. Good. Lady. Winterfell. The bastard of Winterfell. You know who rules at Winterfell now? Who's Bolton? The traitor who plunged a dagger in Rob Stark's heart. Don't you want to avenge him? I want a great many things, Your Grace. But I'm a sworn brother of the Night's Watch now. He was seen taking the body of a wildling girl north of the wall. Why? It's where she belonged. I shall take back the north from the thieves who stole it. You need to shut up. <laughs> but if I'm to take Winterfell, I need more men. I'm talking about the wildlings. Your Grace, you want the wildlings to march in your army? They swear to follow me, I'll pardon them. I'll offer them their lives and their freedom. If Mance kneels before me and swears his loyalty. Convince him to bend the knee. Grace. Or he burns. No, I guess he's gonna burn. Nightfall. Sun drops fast this time of year. My sons have swords in their hands for the time they can walk. This one? Lord Aaron will never be a great warrior. Great warrior? <laughs> You better swing an ass walk stick. Is that what? Swings it like a girl with palsy. Some boys develop more slowly. 
He's 13. Boys go to war at 13. He'd be dead in like two seconds. <laughs> I have no doubt that on my return, Robin's skills will have improved immeasurably. He'll be safe here. As for his skills, I make no promises. <laughs> Well, we head north at some point. He said signs I had a brother at Castle Black. But I'm your squire. Do you even know what a squire is? An attendant to a knight? I'm not a knight. That means you're not a squire. <laughs> Where would I go? I don't care. I'm not your mother. Oh, you bad, Rube. Who swore to find the Stark girls? I found Arya. She didn't want my protection. Signs are still not. Will you shut your mouth? <laughs> you bad, Rube. Uh-oh. You told Lord Royce we were going to the Fingers. Nah. So where are we going? To a land so far from here. Even Cersei Lannister can't get her hands on you. What is it? The wall? I don't know. Your father was a... a force to be reckoned with. She ain't even, she ain't even listening to you. <laughs> but just being in his presence was enough to make it so clear. What a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Uh, deepest condolences, Your Grace. Look at that <laughs> Your Grace. Cousin Lancel, I hardly recognised you. Yeah, monk man. <laughs> they call themselves sparrows. Bloody fanatics. <laughs> what can I do for you? You can forgive me. What could you possibly have done to warrant my forgiveness? <laughs> I tempted you into our... Unnatural relations. <laughs> and of course, there was the king, his boar hunt. I don't know what you're talking about. I found peace in the light of the seven. You can too. I will pray for your father's soul. <laughs> We're late for dinner as it is. <sighs> What's your name? Oliver, my lady. I'm afraid my brother is keeping the king waiting. Perhaps you might consider being a bit more discreet? Why? They will know about me anyway. <laughs> yeah, they do. You shouldn't keep your intended waiting. My intended? Please, Tywin's dead. That means no one can force Cersei to marry me. Yeah, you ain't last little bottle. <laughs> Eunuch the Spider, the master of whispers. Imp, half man. You never told me why you set me free. Your brother asked me to. You risked your life, your position, everything. Why? You're, you're not family. You owe me nothing. I didn't do it for you. I did it for the Seven Kingdoms. Everything for the Seven Kingdoms. I believe men of talent have a part to play in the war to come. Done with Westeros, and Westeros is done with me. You have your father's instincts for politics, and you have compassion. Compassion? I killed my lover with my bare hands. I shot my own father with a crossbow. I never said you were perfect. <laughs> what is it you want, exactly? A land where the powerful do not prey on the powerless. The powerful have always preyed on the powerless. That's how they became powerful in the first place. Perhaps, if you sat on the Iron Throne, would you spread misery throughout the land? I will never sit on the Iron Throne. No, you won't. But you could help another climb those steps and take that seat. Oh! A monarch who can intimidate the High Lords and inspire the people. A ruler loved by millions with a powerful army and the right family name. Good luck finding him. Who said anything about him? Oh, that's a girl? Oh! Daenerys? What? He ain't got any cahoots with her? Think yourself to death. Been in Meet Daenerys Targaryen and decide if the world is worth fighting. The guy he was talking about earlier is the guy from season one that helped marry her to Drogo. Mm -hmm. real? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our mission to Yunkai was a resounding success. Good. They did ask for some concessions. Concessions? Slavery made them rich? I ended slavery. They do not ask for the return of slavery. 
They ask for the reopening of the fighting pits. The pit fighters you liberated plead for this opportunity. <laughs> no fighting pits. Opening them would show the people of Yunkai and Mirin that you respect their tradition. If you could How many times must I say no before you understand? You look very angry when she said that. <laughs> you should reopen the fighting pits. Well, you ain't got a bat. Shh. <laughs> you were sold into slavery. Forced to fight to the death for the amusement of the masters and you're defending the fighting pits. <laughs> I'm only here because of those pits. I made so much money for my master. He set me free when he died. I joined the Second Sons. And then I met you. You're the queen. Everyone's too afraid of you to speak truth. Show your strength. Here. A dragon queen with no dragons. Yeah. I need some sunlight. <laughs> or <Fortress> something. Got <laughs> them poor little dragons in the dark. What's that? Right at the door. We call their names. Viserion? Rhaegal? <laughs> <laughs> Still mad at you. She just came in daytime. It's still gonna be dark time. At least open up the light time thing. Yeah. So here we are. Here we are. You know what Stannis wants? He wants me to bend the knee. Mm-hmm. Love to fight for him. How do you know? If he gets what he wants, I expect he'll be a better ruler than the fools sitting on the Iron Throne the last hundred years. But I'll never serve him. <laughs> I don't want them bleeding for Stannis Baratheon either. Between Robert and Stannis, who's the oldest? Right. So he, so Stannis is a small little jealous brother, trying to prove himself to the bad brother. Fuck my bride. <laughs> this isn't about that. Then bend the knee and save your people. They followed me because they respected me. The moment I kneel for a southern king, that's all gone. No shame. How will they do it? Beheading? Burning. They'll burn you alive. You know, what? Bad way to go. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I don't want to die. I don't want people to remember me like that, scorched and screaming. But it's better than betraying everything I believe. You'd rather burn than kneel, a great hero. Until winter comes, and the White Walkers come for us all, and there's no one left to sing. Oh, shoot, I thought it was winter already. It's cold. There's snow out there. But if you can't understand why I won't enlist my people in a foreigner's war, there's no point explaining. I think you're making a terrible mistake. <laughs> the freedom to make my own mistakes was all I ever wanted. We don't really have 30 minutes left of this. Yeah, very long. Days are shorter than in the winter. Yeah. But they said winter is coming. Winter, already... Winter's always coming. <laughs> Night walker. Wow. That's sad. Yeah, Just stand this. They throw him on doggone logs. Lance Raider, you've been called the king beyond the war. Westeros only has one king. Bend the knee, I promise you mercy. He gonna bend the knee then, ain't he? This was my home for many years. I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. Oh, I 
man, for real. Oh, can I believe this? Man, look at her. Your ugly bush be down there too. She touched. Heck, all I'm touching is that going to show. We all must choose. We choose light or we choose darkness. Look at that bowl. We choose the true God or the false. Why don't you step up there with them too? Free folk, there is only one true king and his name is Stannis. Behold the fate of those who choose the darkness. She got my nerves. Stand as a fool. I love burning people. Like a horrible way to go. Well, yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. When Stannis gonna die? I want Stannis dead. And the witch. They whole plan, they need to die. Look at him. He just gonna sit there. Sam just gonna sit there and watch it. Look at that. Oh. Oh. She hmm. hmm. they wanna have the pleasure of him. Screaming to holler. Fools. Jonathan, we can have this shit. <laughs> huh? I'm like, for real? And she just up there grinning and grinning. When they gonna put her on the fire? Dummy. I'm glad Jon Snow put an arrow through his heart. I'm glad he did. Yeah, see. Because all that she wanted, every last one of them standing to, all of them just wanted to see the, the gratification of him screaming to holler being burnt a lot. What kind of sick person is that? I just want to hear them screaming the heart. Especially Stannis' ugly tail wife. Now, standing next to his daughter, yes, yeah, she got some um, the formation on her face and everything, but she looked more she looked more beautiful than her ugly tail mama does. Because she got an ugly heart. Her mom, crazy. Her mom needs to be on that dog. She should have been on that dog on freaking platform with burning fire. Burning fire. So the Stannis and then what's his name? The dummy. What now he a dummy. The Davos? Yeah. <laughs> dummy. He get on my dog on nerve. My kneel before the king. He ain't no freaking king. He a king in his world. <laughs> Cause nobody else don't recognize him as a king. Everybody recognize King Lenny as the king. Stannis, you what you gonna do? You took all the men. You could have took all the men into King's Landing again. Couldn't. Well, how come? See, that lets me know he he chicken crap. He don't believe what the, the witch telling him. That's what I, I think. He don't believe too much what the well, witch is he, telling him. The witch told him that the real real war was in the north. There's no dog on real. Uh, uh, obviously, she wrong. Right? She wrong. So what's somebody gonna burn her up? I do not like that one. I hate to be so violent, but these stupid <laughs> people up in this show, Stannis, what's the, the his his counselor? Davos. Which I don't even know why you standing beside a man to put you in a dungeon and want to kill you because you didn't you didn't want to go behind the 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 red woman, the woman in red, the witch, because you sleeping with her. Oh, look. See, that's what I said. Women, women powerful. We influence a lot. Get some you know, <laughs> We influence a lot. But <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, this shit got you riled up. Yeah. I'm just saying. I just cannot stand nobody. You So, so you don't want nobody to have no free will at all. You just want people to follow you because they're scared of you until they slit your throat. I mean, for real. Because that's what everybody seems like they're in power. That's the only reason why they're in power because people are afraid of them. 
until some people stand up and get the balls and say, oh, screw you. Yeah, that's why they act like that. Because once they, they know once they figure out that they really ain't got no really power. They ain't got no power over them. Yeah. They, they, bro. Yeah, they can still they, do what they, they want. Do stuff to try to practice, scare people. And, so I'm all for Daenerys and her dragons. Now she's going to have to go get some little love into the dragons because they're pissed off at her right now. Rightfully so. Man, too. Just like with, with, with kids. You know, mamas be like, oh, one did it, but y'all were all there. So let us punish you all. Mass punish. Yeah, so we, you know, as kids, you do get punished for your siblings, their actions. And then sometimes you have to, have, as parents, you have to go back and say, I'm sorry, but I did this because such and such this, you know? Lesson learned. Now, the next time your brother or sister's going to do something and you try to get you in trouble, you be so quick, uh-uh, mama. That wasn't me. That was so-and-so. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But she's going to have to get some love to the dragon. And then uh, Tyrion and his drunken stupor. Now, my thing is, what he feels so sorry about, does he feel sorry that he killed his lover, Shay? Or does he feel sorry for killing his father? I think he feels sorry for both. For both? Yeah. Mm. Well, his daddy been trying to kill him since he's been alive, so his daddy just figured he'd die on his own. But now it's interesting because a character came back into play, but it came back into play as a different entity, right? Which is the cousin. And it came back into a religious entity. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting to see how this is going to go. Because he looked like he brainwashed. I'm just saying. <laughs> he looked like he brainwashed. So it's very interesting to see how that plot line is going to go. It really is. Yeah. That could come back to. That could turn into something. I just think. what That's the difference. But political and religious. It's like they just they clash. They don't match. It clashes all the time. So, um, I just I, I want to see how that going to unfold in this time, this era of time. Mm -hmm. yeah. But thank you guys for joining us on this journey. If this is your first time, please subscribe. And as always, like and comment. And until next time, bye bye. Uh -huh.